Hi. In my last video, I said I'd do a follow-up about storing files on Discord. This is that video. If you haven't already, you can check out the first video here. Again, to reiterate, this was a fun little project to show it could be done, but for so many reasons, you shouldn't rely on a platform that's not cloud storage to be cloud storage. Okay, let's talk about the changes that Discord is making soon, why they're making them, and what will change. First and foremost, Discord says they're doing this to stop malware, so how will that work? Right now, bad actors can upload malware to Discord, copy the CDN link, and distribute it to a bunch of different people, for instance via email. Content blockers that stop obviously bad domains might let a Discord link through because there are legitimate reasons to share a Discord link. Right now, CDN links are publicly accessible, so if I'm an attacker, I can send the same attachment link to anybody, even if they're not on the same server I'm in. Links also don't expire in any short time frame, so these links are dangerous for long after I send them. Now, what's Discord actually doing about this? Well, they're adding three URL parameters to CDN links, X, Is, and Hmm. X is a timestamp indicating when the current link expires, Hmm is some kind of hash or checksum, and Is seems to be when the current version of the file associated with the hash became valid. You can think of X, Is, and Hmm together as a password that rotates every day. When you try to download an attachment, Discord will check this password and make sure it's the right one, and it will only return the attachment if these parameters are correct. The content you store in Discord itself won't expire, but the password needed to access it will. You need to know not just the link, but the current X, is, and hmm in order to access it. This means for external services, like people hosting malware, that just use CDN links, these links will quickly expire and the attachment won't be downloadable. So all those malicious emails I sent six months ago linking to malware hosted on Discord CDN won't work. But Discord says that links within the app will automatically update. So if you're logged into the server where the file was posted and you can see the attachment's original message, every 24 hours the link will refresh and you'll always be able to access the content. This is why my bot will probably still work. I'm storing the message IDs associated with each attachment, not just the CDN links themselves. So whenever I want to download a file, I'll have access to the most up-to-date link that exists. All this change does is turn off perpetual unauthenticated access. So pretty soon, no one outside my server will be able to look at all my favorite passwords. Not cool, guys. I'm glad that you all seem to be enjoying the few videos that I've put out so far. I've got some more great stuff coming soon that I'm really excited about, so if you're not already, do make sure to subscribe. See you soon.